Stevens out. They race back to turn number one. Trevor Bain trying to pick up the drafting partner real quick as they head over to the corner. Let's see who he ends up with. It looks like it's going to be Bobby Labonte. So one of the great veterans grabs a hold of the first-year driver and shoves him with authority to the lead. Bain to the point. Labonte to second. Kurt Busch down to the inside lane. He's going to take over the number three spot with drafting help from Montoya. Here they come to the back straightaway. 20-year-old Trevor Bain driving the legendary Wood Brothers number 21, hopefully to victory in the Daytona 500, but he's got work to do. He's got to fend off Bobby Labonte, and here come Kurt Busch and Juan Pablo. And further back now, you've got Carl Edwards hooking up with David Gilliland, but out front, three miles away from a win at Daytona. Trevor Bain leads the field off turn number four. Coming down for the white flag, 20-year-old Trevor Bain in front. But there's plenty of competition right behind him. Leaning on him, Bobby Labonte, Kurt Busch, and one Pablo Montoya. Young Trevor Bain driving for his life on the final lap of the Daytona 500. Labonte takes a peek to the outside, tucks right back in. When will the challenge come? Kurt Busch, Montoya, they're still there. It's Trevor Bain, your leader. It is a six-man free-for-all for the win of the Daytona 500. Waiting for somebody to break out of line. Here come Carl Edwards to the bottom. He's got drafting help. He's up to fourth. He's up to third. Here comes Carl Edwards as Bain leads to three. Something's got to give. Here comes Carl Edwards. He's got momentum. David Gilliland giving him a shove to the inside of Labonte. Now Trevor Bain will cross over the final time off four. Trevor Bain playing defense. He's out in front at age 20. He's going to win the 53rd Daytona 500. Trevor Bain gets the win for the Wood Brothers. And they're dancing on pit road, Alex Hayden. They are. Indeed, Leonard Wood, one of the pioneers of NASCAR racing. He's going to run out and celebrate. Donnie Wingo is down here. Edsel Ford is down here. All of the Ford family on top of the pit box. And there are high fives. And more importantly, there are tears around Mr. Wood. Congratulations. You're going back to victory lane at Dave Oh, thank you very much. That's, that's the most awesome race ever. The, the guy was so talented. It was just wonderful. Has this changed the way you guys approach the rest of this season? Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard Wood and the Wood Brothers are headed back to victory lane at the World Center of Racing. Celebration is on on pit road. Trevor Bain pulls the upset. That is the feel-good story of Daytona 500. 2011 edition. Can you believe it, Barney? Yeah, I think it's going from one end of the pit road to the other. The teams and everybody are really, if they if their driver couldn't win, they would love to see the Wood Brothers win, and they do it. Here comes the Wood Brothers 4 down to the start finish line. It's the exact same paint scheme that we saw David Pearson win so many races in over the years. The famous red and white number 21 wins again at Daytona.